Here at LP. Call the regular city council meeting Monday, September 18, 2017. To order, clerk, call the roll, please. Alderman Pettoff. Here. Ferrari. Here. Waldorf. Here. Lacocious. Here. Radke. Here. Sapienza. Peyton. Here. Ballard. Here. Marisol. Here. Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have a presentation from Friends for the Prue Pool. Claudia, you go. As most of you know, I am Claudia McKiska, and I'm here representing Friends for Prue Pool. Gina Martin had planned to be here also, but over the weekend she discovered that she was double booked for the evening, so she's at another meeting tonight. Friends for Proof Pool has been the recipient of a donation from Hy-Vee Grocery Store. We thank Hy-Vee for the support of our efforts and for their generosity. Tonight, Hy-Vee's check for $500 is being presented to the Friends for Proof Pool Fund. A big thank you goes to Hy-Vee. Okay, thank you, Claudia. And we uh, do we have any public comment cards filled out for agenda items? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we have a motion to receive the minutes placed on file? Uh, so moved, Your Honor. Second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. Do we have a motion to receive the financial reports in place on file? So moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. Have a motion and a second. Discussion. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Do I have a motion to receive the activity reports in place on file? So moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes, Your Honor. I'd just like to bring this stuff up because it's usually always good stuff. For to Chief Burnaby, just wanted to send you in the guys a thank you for the work you did yesterday related to the Shell gas station incident. Being a small business owner, we need protection like the officer showed yesterday. I worry greatly knowing my wife, family, and a lot of times our little ones are there by themselves. We have comfort knowing you guys are out there protecting us from everyone uh, at the deli. We thank you. Chris Luke. Anything further? Discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Okay, we'll move the committee. Finance Safety Service, Chairman Puddoff. Alderman Radke, enlighten us. Yes, Your Honor. First item on the agenda is disbursements, total disbursements for September 20, 2017, are $3,334,441.54. I move that this report be received, placed on file, and bills paid in the usual manner. I have a motion and a second to receive the disbursements, placed on file, and pay the bills in the usual manner. Is there any discussion? Uh, yes, Your Honor. This is a little larger number than you'd normally see uh, because some of the capital projects we have going on are wrapping up for the year. So there's about 150000 for some of the wastewater treatment plant work that we've approved, 191000 for the splash park that we've approved, and another about 583000 for some of the plank road improvements. Of course, that will get refunded back to the city by the developer uh, at some point in time. So that's the reason for a little bit uh, larger number than normal. Anybody else? Here okay, we'll have a roll call vote. Quick call roll. Alderman Puff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Bradkey. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Anything further from finance? It's all, Your Honor. Okay, we'll move on to public services. Chairman Waldorf. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, Alderman Sapienza, would you take the wheel, please? Diamond Light in the amount not to exceed $175,000. This is replace the light, the post, the old old lights that have to be done for the for the parks. Jeff, do you want? Do you have anything you want to say on that? Uh, 
Yeah, these are for the Senior League Diamond up there. Uh, we're going to put LED lights back in there uh, to replace it, and uh, we'll be getting funds from different areas to take care of this project. Uh, but the big thing is replace all the lights as they're all they're all starting to fail, and there's no replacement parts for them anywhere. So we'll replace the poles. The poles are getting old, and the light hit themselves. And the labor for that would be able to cover that the city. City, yeah, the city would be doing everything. I will second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, I just want to expand a little bit on uh, uh, City approved the Peru Recreation Fund and Little League will all share in the cost of those lights. That's what's been proposed from us. It was brought to our attention by the Peru Recreation Fund as something that was needed, and uh, certainly we can see where it is needed. We appreciate that heads up. I think the good thing is we're putting in energy efficient lighting, so Absolutely. that will uh, reduce the city's operating costs a little bit for whatever the small amount of fire we're using at the lights. It will be a little bit less now. Anybody else? We calculate over the years we about, use about 200 hours a year. How long will these lights last? The LED lights will last for quite I don't know what the exact time on but quite a while. Yeah, I think Kai reported 20 years was the was the bottom side. Till we find a way to store solar power. <laughs> okay, we'll have a roll call real quick. Roll roll. All been put off. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Precocious. Radke. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Peyton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Chief Bacon. Chief Bacon. Uh, that's all from public services, Your Honor. Okay, support city attorney. Ordinances, resolutions. Yes, sir. The first item of ordinance granting the variance of the zoning ordinance of the city of Peru on the ruling is by the petition of Jill Sapp concerning the property located at 2726 Street, Peru, Illinois. Uh, this is to allow the raising of a detached accessory garage and the construction of a new detached accessory garage on the same slab. Uh, it's been approved by uh, the Zoning and Planning Commission. Uh, chairperson, Peter Stett, city engineer, building inspector, both all in the ward and uh, also all uh, contiguous property owners. I'll make the motion that this is the ordinance to be adopted. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second to adopt the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? A roll call vote, quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Precocious. Radke. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Peyton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Next round, I have another ordinance granting a building to the building ordinance of the city of Peru, sought by a petition of Lorraine Sims concerning the property located at 2110 11th Street, Peru, uh, to allow for the construction of a detached accessory garage within six feet of her residence and all necessary approvals of the contiguous property owners and everyone within the city has uh, also been obtained. I have a motion to approve the ordinance as written and read? So moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. We have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? Have a roll call. Quick call vote, please. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Lacocious. Red Key. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Peyton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Next round of an ordinance amending the code ordinance in section 110-93 concerning stop signs. This adds a number of stop signs within the city. Uh, Fulton Street and 5th Street, Fulton Street and 8th Street, Pike Street and Main Street, 6th Street and Fulton Street, 8th Street and Fulton Street, 13th Street and Fulton Street, 7th Street and Cleveland Street, Grant Street and 9th Street, 9th Street and Putnam Street, Putnam Street and 9th Street, um, both ways, Putnam Street and 5th Street, Market Street and Shadow Street, Shadow Street and Main Street, Bureau Street and Main Street, and Fulton Street and Main Street. Your Honor, I'll make a motion that we adopt the ordinance as written and read. And I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? 
Your Honor, um, just uh, it seems like a lot. It really isn't. Uh, several of those intersections are uncontrolled intersections. So you get there, and from every direction, there's no yield signs, there's no stop signs. So that really, there's no direction for the motorists. Uh, the rule of the car on the right has the right of way is not true at an uncontrolled intersection um, unless simultaneously the cars arrive at the same time. First test is who gets there first has the right of way. So we looked at those uncontrolled primarily down in the southern district and um, I think it'll just make things safer for the people there. A few of the other ones are as a result of the construction. It gave us the opportunity to look at the intersections. For quite some time I wanted to make this uh, stop intersection here by City Hall with all the traffic coming through um, at this intersection and then a block north we're actually taking two stop signs out and uh, so people just have to stop east and westbound approaching the school. So um, they're just cleaning up areas that uh, did not have any controls whatsoever. Um, and then a few other requests. There's one by a daycare, um, pretty narrow street out on 7th Street, where there's been a pretty long term request out there. We've looked at it, and the daycare is doing very well. Obviously, there's a bus stop nearby. So, um, and I talked to some of the residents out there, and they they support it uh, for those reasons. So a lot of it's housekeeping. Also, um, one of the yield intersections, 8th and Fulton, uh, we had a horrendous accident there um, not all that long ago. So that is one of the uh, intersections that will be a four-way, I think deservedly so. Is there any further discussion? We'll have a roll call. We'll quick call roll. Alderman Tunoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sapienza. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Following on uh, the resolution of the city of the 2013 Ford Interceptor sitting in squad car to the village of Dean. It's got 90,000 miles and the purchase price is $9,000. Doug, do you want to add anything else on that? Well, it's a very good deal actually for Dana because they're forming a police department down there in their village, a couple of small towns. So they're on a limited budget. Uh, for us, it's a very good deal. That car was being replaced. Um, normally, we get about $1,500 on a trade-in. We have to pay to have all the equipment taken out that can't be used in the new models. Obviously, the industry knows what it's doing, so they change how things are manufactured so they don't fit from car to car. But So um, the mayor of uh, Dana came up, uh, had heard that we might have when I put the word out um, that you know, if anybody was looking for something to come see us. So this is the most we've ever been able to sell a car for. Um, and it's a good deal for them as well because we're going to let them have a lot of the equipment that's in there. So it's a good deal all the way around. Okay, do we have a motion? I'll make that motion. I have a motion and a second to adopt the ordinance as written and read. Any discussion? Okay, roll call, roll quick call roll. Alderman Putoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Nothing further. There's one more item under the uh, city attorney uh, prepared by special corporate counsel Herb Klein. This is for a inducement resolution uh, pertaining to the I believe it's the Igloo property as it uh, as it regards to the proposed downtown TIF. I'll make a motion to adopt the resolution as written. Second. Where did the second come from? Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the inducement resolution as written and read. And what that is is we're still we're still working on the TIF. It's not in place yet, and this will give them the rights and benefits of the TIF once the TIF is in place. Is there any discussion? Okay, we'll have a roll call. Call roll. Alderman Putoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Unfinished business. Do we have any unfinished business? None. Do we have any new business? Nada. Petitions, communications. Yes, Your Honor. I have three. The first is a communication from Peru, Mailer, 
Real Estate LLC requesting a variance for the property located at Progressive Boulevard and 38th Street. Progress Boulevard and 38th. I'll make a motion that we send that to a zoning. Planning and zoning. Yeah. Second. Have a motion and a second to receive the communication placed on file and turn over to Pine Zoning for their review and recommendation. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Next is a communication from Crossbridge Community Church requesting a continued special use variance for the property located at 1725 4th Street. Uh, I, I don't know. And the Zoning Board of Appeals. Is there an easier way to extend that out without a hearing? I don't. I don't know how it's written. The, you know, the last one that was passed. We'll, we'll have yeah. to look at see how it was written and if. I, I think it's the last time it, they brought it and they asked the same question, and the council determined that they they didn't want a an automatic extension that the, they would need to reapply. For continued special use, we'll, we'll we'll pull it out and see how it's written to see if we need to go to planning zoning. But we'll we'll say uh, we did pull it out for that reason because that that was their question. Do we have to go through the whole process again? And, and they do. And we determined that yeah. That's okay. Oh, okay. So we we'll receive your com communication, place on file, uh, turn it over to planning zoning for further review and recommendation. I need a second. I have a motion from all of them put off. We have a motion from Alderman Waldorf. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Uh, last one, we have a communication from Jen Marsala requesting permission to hold a geocaching or cash in trash out event at Baker Lake on October 1st from 1 to 3. Uh, I've communicated with Jen a couple of different times. She's done another one other event at the park where we've provided her garbage bags and her team goes in and they uh, enjoy a geocaching event. It's sort of a, a GPS, scavenger GPS scavenger hunt. Fair enough. Uh, so in, a, in addition to uh, picking up trash, they'll dig a couple of small holes and put their little uh, GPS device in that people will look to find. And uh, then our public work, works guys come back uh, the next day or Monday and pick up the trash bags that they from whenever they collect trash wise. So it's a nice thing. Okay, we have a motion to receive communication placed on file and grant permission. Uh, so second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. aye. All opposed? Motion. Any other petitions, communications? That's all, Your Honor. Any public comment? Do we have any public comment? Anybody? No public comment. Uh, no need for closed session. Ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved, Your Honor. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by aye. aye. All opposed? Meeting adjourned.